Hello everyone. In the last couple of videos, we have talked about how to create user accounts and how to modify the user accounts. In this video, we are going to talk about how to create new group accounts. So similar to the etc passwd file, there is a file etc group which contains the details about the existing groups. Now what kind of details is there? So you will find four fields. The first field is the group name. The second field is the encrypted password. The third field specifies the group ID and the fourth field specifies the list of users for whom this particular group is a supplementary group, is an add on group, not the primary group, but a additional group. So a user can belong to multiple groups. One of the groups will always be the primary group, whereas all other groups can be the add on groups. For example, let's suppose you join an organization, you will join one department initially, right? but you might be added into another department temporarily for working on a particular project. So all those departments are your supplementary groups. You will always come back to your primary group. So the fourth field here specifies the users for which this particular group is a supplementary group. Now the command is group add. So you will simply write group add and then name of the group and the group will be created. So let's learn this with an example. So now let us create a group using the group add command. So group add. Let's suppose that the name of the group is Red Hat. And now we can check the etc group file at the bottom. The group will be there, okay, by mistake, tail. So you can see the last entry, Red Hat, the group is created. Now again by default a group id is associated with this group 8082. If you want to give a group id of your own you can use group add minus g and then give a id of your own let's suppose 8050 and the group name is red hat 1. So now you can see that the group has got a group id whatever I specified using the minus G option. So I hope you are able to use the group add command now. In the next video, we are going to talk about how to modify the existing groups. Mm -hmm.